What's going on guys? Nate Gould here and uh, what's up? It's Sunday. All you football lovers are about to watch your Super Bowl and stuff like that and I hope uh, you know I hope you guys have good luck on who you want to win and all that things. If you guys want I'll be you know whatever fan you I'll be a fan of whatever you want me to be in your mind. So today we are looking at the buff. The buff on the shotguns did it make the shotguns overpowered? My opinion on it. How the shotguns feel after the buff. Things of that nature. Now remember, I am terrible with shotguns. I think I go 17 and 8 this game. I absolutely suck with shotguns. I hate shotguns. Especially in this game, on how easy it is to die. How much people camp. I mean, I am not a huge fan of shotguns at all. But, I thought it would be good to check them out. See if you can actually get kills with them. See if they're worth it on maybe an overkill to have like an mp7 overkill with a shotgun and I used this a little bit before they did the this buff the buffing of the shotguns that's what we need and I used this exact gun and I was getting hit markers I mean I still get hit markers but I mean every single time if it was right to the chest or right to the head or right to the body or anywhere where it should have been a one shot kill from Lily from me to where that wall was just right next to me like, to the, like feet I'm talking feet away I can give him a damn high five. I was constantly getting hit markers, and it was extremely, extremely frustrating. So I'd used a little bit. I said, and I had cursed off shotguns as completely worthless. Now with the buff, the KSG, I don't like to use. I used the A12 just to see how it felt. I used the striker very little bit. I don't like to use the hey, let me spam it because then um, that makes me feel like I'm good. I feel like if you're going to use a shotgun. One, you should use a pump, take a little bit more skill, and two, the pump should do a little bit more damage because it takes a little bit more skill, but I don't think that's that's not how Activision thinks. They're like, oh, let's make something where you can spam it. It's got the longest range and the strongest power. <laughs> that makes sense. Whatever, I'm not a big fan of shotguns, but I'm trying to do this. <laughs> so the KSG, I mean, obviously I got the Blue Tiger. I got the range on it here. I got the grip with range, and it's worth it. It's, it did well. It got the job done. I can get kills with it. Um, I can't work the map with it. I can't. I don't know how guys get Moabs. I think if you have a full party stacked and you're spawn killing them and controlling spawns, yeah, you could probably get a Moab, but I was just running around by myself, completely hungover, so it took me a long time to do this, and I was very frustrated. <laughs> and I don't think it's too much. I think it brought the shotguns back in as an element, and what it's going to do is it's going to make players use these shotguns that aren't really that good, and it's going to put us other players at an advantage because... They're going to be rushing at us with shotguns that they have to be super close with, and we are going to be super far mowing them down. I mean, I was basically giving away AC-130s all day. Not even joking. A lot, you know, a lot of people were just getting kills on me. I couldn't get close enough, so I don't think it's overpowered. I think it was a good thing that they buffed some of the shotguns to make them an element. If you're going to put a gun, a gun in the game, but make it so weak that no one can complain about how overpowered it is, then just don't put it in the game at that point, and then it becomes a, a wasted element of the game. Now it's something you can actually use, and, you know, it's almost worth having in the game. It's worth keeping them around. I think it was necessary. Um, I don't know if they, what they did. I heard they buffed the, I heard that they did buff the shot, the striker a little bit. I haven't looked at or checked out on that yet. I, you know, if people tried killing me with it today, and they weren't killing me as fast, so I don't know. Maybe they balanced them out with the other guns, and that would seem to be a little bit more fair than buffing something that's way better than the other ones. I don't know. So I've heard rumors both ways and stuff like that. I don't know how true it is. If someone does know, you can please leave in the comment section below. And, um, and that's it. I mean, basically, that's it about the striker. So I don't know what the best... I don't, I'm don't. i not great with shotguns. I don't have a lot of tips for you. What I would do for tips is have extreme conditioning with... You're going to want sled it. You're going to want sled of hand at some point. You're going to want scavenger. So with the specialist, is probably the best. Extreme conditioning pro so you can hop over stuff and ninja around people and maneuver and get close to them quicker obviously uh, but that's it I don't know I don't know what else people use for shotguns I didn't get the chance to use the extended mag I didn't get a chance to use damage or anything like that I just have grip and I have range and a blue tiger I mean that's basically it and I mean like I said I think it was a good thing I think it was a well made buff nothing's overpowered the shotguns are not going to ruin the game like they did in Modern Warfare 2 no one's hitting people for miles and it's I don't think it's a big deal I think it was a good and beneficial thing so thanks for watching later